everyone to another relaxing shave video. In this video, we are going to be comparing two razors, similar styles, but they couldn't be further apart. The Hue Shave or the uh, clone of the Mercur Future Q Shave Ming Shi 3000. Vanderhagen has one of these up against an actual Mercur Future. Now, state the obvious. The first thing I notice difference wise is weight. The Mercur is much heavier than the Q Shave clone. Finish this has a brushed. I want to say it's stainless. Uh, I could be wrong, but it's it's a matte finish. This is chrome plated. I'm sure. The second thing is the weight. Mercur is a uh, much heavier than the Q Shave. Much heavier. I don't know by how much. I didn't pull out the scale and weigh them, but Mercur is much heavier than the Q Shave. The third thing. And this is super critical to me, uh, probably to a lot of people, uh, is quality control, man. Anything that is a clone or a replica, it's not going to be as good as the original because although they can get the, they could buy the patents to build it, uh, they may not know exactly all the ins and outs to be able to precisely machine everything to work exactly right like the original. Case in point, both of these are set on six. Uh, I'm gonna show you, hopefully, you can see that. See that six. Now, they're both on six, that line right there. This line right there. Go focus in. Focus right there. All right, you see that line? It's set on number six. Now, look at this blade gap between the future and the Q shave. Are y'all seeing that? If I can get it to focus, look at that. Look at the difference. If it'll focus instead of my face. Look at that. I mean, if this is a six, let me turn it around so you can see it. If this is a six, this has got to be like a 12. Look at that. Look how insane that is. I mean, that's, that's a huge difference. There you go. Now look at this. I mean, that's crazy. So quality control, I can tell you this one's going to be way more aggressive than this one. I can already tell. But quality control, man, that's this base plate or the top cap needs to go down further. I don't know which one. But anyway, Loaded up in those, we have two second use Persona Lab Blues, made in the USA. Second use, because I already shaved with both of these razors, but something happened to the video, and alas, we don't have it. So, a new shave. Uh, I'm going to be using Razor Rock Triple X. I love this. Aqua de Parma dupe. I love it so much. It has the ring of death. It gets bowl lathered, uh, bowl lathered, face lathered, sorry. And the brush we're gonna be using to whip it up on the face is uh, my Yachi, Yachi, there you go, sick, Yachi. 24 millimeter Sangrata Familia. I love this brush, it's a beautiful brush. So let's start building. The tub is dry. I'm just gonna go right in and pick up some soap and work it on the face. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas, man. I did. Uh, my daughter's birthday is today, actually. So, she watches my videos. So, happy birthday, baby girl. She'll watch this later <laughs> with her friends. She watches it to laugh at me, actually, so feel sorry for me. All right. Got some soap paste built up there. Let's uh, take these glasses off. It's a face whip. Yeah, like I said, I've uh, I already know the outcome. So it's kind of like cheating on my part. But I don't know what happened to the video. 
so it sucks. But hey, in the meantime, you get to enjoy uh, what I enjoy. Maybe. All right, leave that out to dry. That's good to go. Let's get to lather. Whoops, soap on the shirt. Now, the funny part is, is I shaved yesterday. So, I got 24 hours of growth. And I'm a go 631 on the settings. I may regret it, but I'm going to do it for y'all. All right. Take a dip in the pool, paint in some water. Another dip, more painting. I haven't face lathered in a while. It's kind of, it's kind of relaxing. How's everybody's uh, year so far, huh? <laughs> Day four. New Year 2022. God, can it be worse than last year? Let's hope not. Big exciting things in the works for Isaiah City Suds. I'm loving it, man. Last year was kind of like a launching off point. So I'm hoping to build on the uh, success that we've had. Only thing left to go is up, right? All right. Let's splay a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see, but I see all the little soap from these uh, synthetic brushes, man. They, when you go to splay, water goes everywhere. I can see it. I don't know if y'all can or not. But this brush is great because it has a ton of backbone. Even though it's synthetic, it's probably one of my favorite synthetic brushes. Ton of backbone in this brush, man. Ton. It almost had as much, I right, dip in the pool. It almost had as much as my, uh, as my 830 smoke when I first got it. And that brush was stiff. Dip. I love this scent, man. It smells great. I haven't tried any other dupes of this Aqua de Parma. I believe it's Colonia. But this one smells great. And Razor Rock makes good soap. And it's Vegetal. So... If you ever hear anybody talk about, you know, vegetal soaps can't lather and, you know, low structure, blah, 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 blah. Don't believe them, man. Lathering comes down to technique. Just like everything else, dude. Whoops. All right. I think we got enough built up. Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> uh, needless to say, it's all over the counter. All right, I'll clean this up here. Yeah, I know I've been slacking on the videos, man. I apologize. You know, my daughter, she made the wrestling team, so that has taken up a bunch of our time at the house. Uh, she's got two more tournaments type matches and then hopefully she goes to state. That's what we're hoping for. Okay. <sighs> I'm worried about that cue shave. All right, setting six on the future. Just so you know, I'm not lying. Setting six, future. I'm going to shave this side with the future. I can tell you. Even on six, this
It's way milder than that Q-shape, which is crazy to think, but it is. Okay, <laughs> the Q-shape on setting 12. So, you know, I'm not fooling you. Q-shape on setting 12. Here we go. I know these companies get I don't know if they you know buy you know the patents to be able to you know, produce these razors or or what I'm pretty sure it's something like that you know they get the patents to be able to you know produce the razors but I just don't understand, you know, it just, well, I guess I kind of do. It just goes to show that just because you know how to make a hamburger doesn't mean you're going to make my hamburger. I know it's a bad analogy. It's on the fly, man. Come on. Can't win them all, right? All right. Second pass. That's a horrible analogy <laughs> about the hamburger, by the way. I guess what I'm trying to say is you could have all the parts and the schematics to build a rocket, but is the rocket going to fly? There you go. Okay. Now, like I said, we're going to dial it down to three. Three on the future. If you can see that, I hope so. Three. And I know a lot of people are scared of this razor, but you shouldn't be. It's really a... Uh, I mean, six is really the most aggressive setting. To be honest, at least for me. Like that right there, that was smooth. Not bad. All right, setting three, I'm gonna show y'all again just because this is the Q-shave. See that line right there, right above the three, I hope so. That's setting three. So, here we go. Q-shave, which this is, yeah, this is probably nine. <laughs> By, you know, the blade gap. I never knew how uh, how you know I don't want to say awful, but how stark of a difference it was between the two until uh, you know a good friend sent me the future to try on the channel. Said, hey man, you know, do a you know comparison of the two. Which, you know, it's the same buddy that sent me the Q shave. When he got the future, he sent me the uh, he sent me the Q shave. <laughs> uh, I can see why. Alright, let me get a little bit of water going in here. Mm -hmm. Just 
Let's build it up just a little more for this final pass. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. Clean it up. You know, to tell you the truth, when I showed you with this yesterday in the first video, and see, I don't mind telling y'all that. You know, I got nothing to hide, man. I'm not ashamed. You know, I effed up. Hey, it's okay. Life goes on, right? But when I shaved with it yesterday, it was murder's row right here. And it don't look bad. I don't know. Uh, I, same thing. Six, three, one. All right, show y'all. Setting one. So... I have switched to my uh, shaving the left side of my face with my left hand now. Switched. Because I do uh, left side, right hand, right side, left hand. Normally. Helps me control pressure. The only thing I can't do is this across the grain, which is really with the grain right here. I can't do it with my opposite hand. Okay, setting one, future. You see that blade? See that blade gap? Look how, look how small that is, okay? Now keep that in mind. See that? Because I want it to really focus. Look at this one. It's a difference. This is a Q shave. Big difference. Big difference. Not so much on the lower settings. But uh, higher settings, very noticeable. And like I said, I never knew it until I got the future how bad the Q-shape was check yeah tell you what both of them super efficient man okay no blood this time. Amazing. Can't believe it. I'm stunned. No freaking blood, man. I'm telling you, yesterday right here, whew, this murder's road. They're not good. All right, let's get all this so far. Mr. Mr. This is what I do with it. Oh, cold water. Just let it spray. Alum. I've been using this a lot more. And I kind of wanted to use it to give y'all a... Whew. Okay. This is the future side. Good there. Right here is a little bit of feedback. This is a Q-shave side. Good all on the cheeks. Right here, some feedback. And right on the neck, right there. Which is my normal. Y'all know, man, I can't. Everybody says, no feedback, no feedback. I have never had a shave where I haven't had Feedback from that, man. Never. Okay. Mister. Just spray it. Just spray it all over. Screw it. Oh, yeah. 
tell you what, it's like heaven. <laughs> One on, huh? Okay. Jury's out, huh? I mean, they're both exceptionally smooth. With, against, I mean, look at that. That is, that's like, that's glass. This is against. It's gravid. It's so smooth. And there's nothing here. I mean, it's, it's a little red, but I can live with it. Okay. Bears. You know, I guess I, it would help if I showed the bottle. It's, it's just there's cucumber. All right. Beautiful. So, in conclusion, it wasn't as bad as it was the first time. Uh, Got to be honest. The first time... I was rocking 24 hours of growth, and this right here with the Q-Shave, I mean, dude, it looked like I got mauled right here. Fresh blades in them, too. So, sometimes my skin's kind of sensitive to fresh blades. It's just one of those deals. But, uh, this time, not bad. I mean, smooth. If you didn't want to spend the money on this future... This is worth it, uh, expense-wise, if you're on a budget. Just be cognitive of uh, subtle differences. Mercure is heavier. You don't have to... It'll kind of drag itself. If y'all have heavy-weighted razors, you know what I'm talking about. You don't have to force the razor through. It does most of the work. That's why I love heavy handled razors. This is head heavy and handle heavy. It will do most of the cutting for you without a lot of force. The Q-Shave is lighter, so you have to kind of pull it through, which can result in irritation. That's probably what happened here. Uh, I'm just guessing, because I hate to blame this. I always blame myself, so uh, wait difference finish if you're not a shiny guy like this Q shave is shiny chrome plated I'm sure this is probably your bag it's a matte and I want to say it's stainless but I've heard some people say that the finish peels off on top you know the coating I don't know I mean uh not coating the plating I don't know how true that is but if I had to guess, I would say it's stainless, but I may be wrong, but it's heavier. Uh, finish is a matte finish, already said heavy. And the number one thing that I just can't get over, man, is the blade gap. I mean, I wish it would focus without my face in the way. There you go. Look at that, hopefully. Look at the difference. Q-Shave, Future. I mean, they're both on one. That is insane, you know, the difference right there. So, QC, QC is an issue. Uh, but other than that, for a budget, Vanderhagen has one. If you want to scoop it up, shave with it, I think it's worth it. So, uh, this shave great. No issues for me. Other than you may have a few nicks like I had the other day. But that could have been me rushing trying to use both razors the same way and you can't do that because they're not made the same way technically speaking so i'm gonna splash on some stuff because y'all probably tired of hearing me ramble since we went aqua de parma we'll go epsilon blue mediterranean this is like a floyd blue kind of inspired since you can't get the floyd blue anymore that epsilon took over now see, that is a case of a clone being tits, as they say. Can't find Floyd Blue anymore. So, Blue Epsilon, uh, 
or Epsilon Blue Mediterranean is pretty damn close to the original Ford Blue. Oh my God, that smell. Okay, appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whenever you get a chance to catch this. Comment. Uh, let me know what y'all think. If y'all have seen this in the store somewhere, anxious to pick it up, let me know. Uh, as always, comment. Uh, I just said that. Like, subscribe, bring people to the channel. I know it's been a minute. Work with me, guys. I appreciate it. As always, Lather Attic, uh, over and out. See you on the next vid.